Hi friends, Pastor Ashley here. Thanks so much for joining me this morning uh, for our Facebook Live devotional. Uh, it's a beautiful, gusty day outside and uh, it is good uh, to be alive, isn't it? It is such a blessing uh, from the Lord that uh, he has given us life and breath. And uh, I love how my cats always need to make an appearance <laughs> in these videos. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for joining me. Just want to mention a couple things quickly. Um, our Facebook page, make sure that you keep an eye on that. Uh, give it a like and a follow so that uh, the information that we post will just come straight up on your news feed. And then our website, fortsaskalliance.com and our online gatherings tab there. If you keep an eye on that, you'll stay up to date on everything that's coming up uh, online uh, at Fort Saskatchewan Alliance Church. All the ways that we uh, have that we can be connecting together. Uh, community is so important and we just want to make sure that we are staying uh, as closely knit in community during this time uh, as possible. So I hope that you all had a great uh, weekend and start to your week. Um, and it is uh, it's just, yeah, so exciting to be able to be back together. I miss uh, these chats when I don't get to have them with you. So I'm excited to be back today. But uh, something that I wanted to talk to you about uh, today is something that I actually have just been processing myself and, and it's something that I've processed in the past and then was just recently reminded of and thought, you know what, this is good stuff and I really want to, uh, I really want to share this with everyone who watches these devotionals. And so um, that the topic for today uh, is um, if you've made an agreement with a lie in your life. And so I think we all um, could name a lie that just kind of repeats in our minds and um, something I read recently was saying, you know, if you've made an agreement with a lie, it likely isn't like this scary outside voice you hear, but you're hearing it in your own uh, voice in your head. And so, you know, it could look like uh, a million different things, right? It could be a, a lie about uh, your value, you know, due to your income, or it could be a lie about your value due to your physical appearance. Uh, it could be you know, a lie uh, about uh, your health and the future um, that you have there, a, a lie about God, you know, about maybe not fully believing that he's on your side or that he will protect you or that he'll take care of you. There can be so many things uh, that, uh, so many lies that we um, end up agreeing with. And, you know, we don't do this because we want to believe lies necessarily. Uh, this happens because we have an enemy who is, is cunning and who um, and uh, who is working really really hard uh, to attack us and to bring us down and um, and this also happens because we're weak people right our faith is is often not as strong as it should be and um, we are prone to doubt and so it's kind of the perfect storm of believing a lie um, but I, what I want you to do is I want you to take a minute and um, I want you to just think is there something um, some unhelpful negative thought that comes into your mind on a regular basis uh, that just kind of, you know, infiltrates there and you feel, um, you feel attacked by it. It's, it's not helpful. You feel like when it comes, you get anxious, you get depressed, you feel despair, sorrow, fear, whatever that negative emotion looks like. I want you to stop and think, is there something that, you know, kind of repeatedly plays in my mind? And you know what, there might be many. Like for me, there have been, there have been many. And so once you realize what that lie is that you've been believing, so let's, for instance, take that, uh, let's take the lie that, um, you know, if, if something bad happens, God will leave me alone in it. Like he won't be there to walk through it with me. Let's take that for example. And so what you would do, um, if you want to break disagreement with that lie, is you would just take a minute and you would just pray and you would say out loud, um, Jesus, I want to break agreement with this lie, state the lie. And just say, in Jesus' name, I break all agreements with this lie. I declare that it is not the truth. And I pray that would you, Jesus would take it and deal with it as he sees fit. And God, I pray that you would replace this lie um, with your truth. So, and then take a minute and just ask him what the truth is that he wants to give you in response to that lie. 
So if you have any more questions about that or if that feels like a daunting task to go uh, through on your own, I would love uh, to chat with you about that and to you know process any of those lies that you think that you may have come into agreement with uh, that may be negatively affecting your faith, negatively affecting your life. Uh, because friends, it's so important that we be walking in the truth. Uh, Jesus is um, the author of all truth. God is light and in him there is no darkness, which means there are no lies. And he wants us to be walking in his glorious light. So friends, I'm going to be praying for you uh, as you take those steps to break agreement with any lies that you have come into agreement with. And my prayer for you is just that you be walking in deeper and further levels of freedom because that's really what Jesus has for us. He wants us to be free. And uh, not only does he want that for us, but he has given us everything that we need uh, to find that freedom and to appropriate it, to make it ours today. So friends, like I said, my email address is attached to the top of this post. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, who Jesus is, about what he means for you, about ways to follow him, I'd love to chat with you more so you can send me an email there. And I will be back tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for another one of these devotionals. So friends, I hope that you have a wonderful day and uh, that you feel the presence of Jesus just so strongly uh, with you today that he would calm all your fears and that he would soothe all your sorrow and that he would be your true joy and your true peace. Thanks so much for joining me.